so let's talk about call option uh, so I would have to include uh, Mike and Mary in this example uh, so let's say that Mike is uh, bullish he thinks that the market is going to go up and Mary is thinking that market is uh, pretty much uh, normal at this stage and there is no much upside or downside so both of them uh, are the investors and Mary holds Google so let's say Google right now is at $700 so Mike wants to purchase Google but no money he is tight on money and Mary she already holds Google so she holds $700 worth of Google so Mike wants to invest but don't know money so what he can do is he can pay Mary five dollars and in return of five dollars Mary promises then in one month she will sell Mike for seven hundred dollars she will sell Google for seven hundred dollars so why Mary would do that because in in if she do that she will get five dollars plus get to sell that at five seven hundred dollars so in total she will make 705 instead of just 700 uh, for Mike if the stock goes up he's going to make money by not exactly investing or owing the stock but only uh, paying five dollars so let's look at the scenario what will happen so we can have a upside or downside and the stock can go to 690 or we can have a upside and stock can go to 715 so what will happen for Mike first so if we're talking about Mike then if it goes to 690 Mike will say it's already at 690 so why would I purchase it at $700 so Mike is not going to make any purchase so this is an important uh, thing to remember that call is an option it's not an obligation so he doesn't have to purchase it at seven seven hundred dollars but if you talk about Mary then in case of Mary uh, she lost ten dollars on the stock and but she made five dollars from Mike so she will end up with six hundred and ninety five dollars so she lost five dollars in this case right but if you talk about now let's let's put loss here so the loss will be five dollars for Mary now if you talk about uh, upside so if the went if the stock goes up then Mike would like to purchase it at seven hundred and fifteen dollars or seven hundred dollars and he do not even have to spend the seven hundred dollars because the market is at seven fifteen so he will just close the option and he'll get a fifteen dollars so because uh, he paid five dollars for it so his profit uh, is going to be ten dollars and for Mary she have she needs to sell that stock at seven hundred dollars but she also got the premium so she will got in total of seven hundred and five dollars uh, out of which uh, will say that she made five dollar in profit so, so she made five dollars in profit Mike made ten dollars in profit in case of downward side Mike didn't lose anything yeah he lost uh, uh, the premium which he paid so that premium will be five dollars and uh, Mary lost some money so but if the stock would have gone way below so let's say if the stock would have gone to uh, 600 then in this case Mike will again not buy it for 700 and his loss will be still five dollars but Mary was holding the stock she will be losing a lot of money so right now then she will end up with 605 and uh, her total loss will be 95 so this is the call option so let's uh, little let's go a little bit more graphical so let's let me uh, plot the profit chart so suppose if I'm if I'm looking at the profit and this is the stock price so if 
I entered at this stock at this price. Then if the stock goes up, I'm going to make money. If the stock goes down, I'm going to lose money. And there is no uh, protection. The stock can go keep going down. However, uh, if instead of buying the stock, I pay a premium for a call option at this price, then I, because I'm paying a fees, I'm already starting with the loss. So I'm starting with the loss. If the stock goes up, first I will recover my losses and or what the fees I paid, and then I'll start to make money. So my chances to make money will decrease because stock has to go above a certain price for me to even start make money. However, if the stock goes down, then I will not, will not have any losses because the only losses will I have is uh, the premium which I paid for the stock. So in that case, my loss will be limited. So I'll get a downside protection, but I also limit my up or, or like I also delayed my upside profits so this is how the call option works now there are few things to remember so let's go back to the example of google so i'm talking about google now right so i can have first the function of the strike price so k if the k is 700 dollars the premium will be high so suppose the premium could be five dollars but if it goes to 720 then it's less likely that the stock will go above 720. So in that case, the premium will decrease maybe to $2. And then if I'm talking about 750, then again, the premium will decrease a lot and maybe it's only 50 cents. Right? So the premium will depend upon where the strike price is. The another thing to remember is the expiry date. So longer the expiry date, more likely is the stock to go above a certain price. So if I'm asking what's the likely scenario that a stock will go uh, above uh, 750 in one month, so it will be less likely. But if I say, what about one year? So I'll call this as one month. And uh, this as one year. So if I'm talking about one year, then you'll say, yeah, it's more likely. So in that case, the price will increase and it will go to $5. And if I'm talking about 720, then price will go to maybe $20. And, uh, and for 700, it will go maybe $50. So that's how the prices will change, both based on the expiry date and on the, uh, uh, the strike price. So, if you hold the stock at $700, you can always think of uh, some making some more profit uh, by selling a call option uh, for one year for $50. So in that case, you can make total of $750. The only uh, drawback is that you might you are exposed to the downside. If the stock goes down, you're going to lose some money. So I hope uh, this uh, video helped and I'll see you later. Thank you. Let's talk about put option and again I would have to invite Mike and Mary to explain uh, this concept. Uh, so let me start with the example. Suppose if I'm looking at Google and Google is right now at $700 and I have Mary who already owns Google and uh, she is uh, expecting the Google to go high and she thinks that that will uh, be a good return on her investment but she's also worried that what if the Google goes down it can go to 680 it can go to 650 and she will she don't want to lose that money so she is looking for some kind of protection on the same time Mike he wants to enter into Google he wants to buy some more Google and uh, he thinks that uh, I should be able to buy this at 680 so he's he is looking to buy at 680 and he don't want to buy at 700 so he only thing he can do is now he has to wait for one month or maybe two months or maybe five days no nobody knows right so either he can keep waiting or he can enter a contract with mary in that case mary will give mike five dollars 
and for five dollars mike will promise that he will buy the stock for 680 and after one month so if he promises my mary that he will buy the stock even if it goes below at 680 then mary will have a downside protection so her maximum loss will be equal to dollar 20 because uh, it can go to uh, 680 plus the five dollars which she paid for the premium so now she has more peace of mind and in case of mike he is happy because he made five dollars and if uh, stock goes down then he can also purchase it for 650 so 680 so if he buys for 680 he can subtract this five dollars from it and it will and he will end up buying the google for 675 so now what will happen after one month stock can either go down and uh, so in it can go to maybe uh, 670 or it can go up uh, maybe to 720 so we have both uh, mike and mary so how the profits will look like for both of them so in if you talk about mike then because it went to 670 he is uh, now he has to purchase it for 680 so he bought it at 680 but he was paid five dollars for it and uh, so the five dollars is extra right so he bought it at 680 so because he bought it at 680 and the stock is right now at uh, 7 670 he lost ten dollars here and uh, but he made five dollars here so his total loss will be equal to five dollars because he got paid five dollars from mary right so his total is uh, loss is five dollars but if you talk about mary then uh, she would sell her stock to mike for 680 so she lost twenty dollars here And uh, she also paid five dollars to Mike, so that five dollars will also add up. So she lost total of twenty-five dollars. Now, if we are talking about uh, uh, upside, then in case of Mike, he will not be able to buy the stock because the stock never went to six eighty. So in that case, he will make five dollars. So his total profit will be five dollars so now look at this that even though he didn't made he didn't purchase uh, any stock he was still able to make five dollars just for his waiting for the stock to go to 680 or willingness to buy the stock at 680 but in case of mary uh, because it go went to 720 she will not be uh, keeping all the profit because now her profit is 20 but she paid five dollars uh, to mike so that will result in a total profit of 15 dollars for her so she lost a little bit of premium but uh, she was able to protect herself herself from downside so this is how the option works so let me go to the example here so suppose if i'm talking about uh, the profit chart and uh, this is the stock so uh, if i'm buying the stock at here so this is the stock price and this is the profit so if i'm buying the stock here the stock will go up or down so i have uh, exposure to both profit and losses so what i can do is i can buy a put option so by buying a put option i'm protecting myself at this stage so whatever if the stock goes below this price then i will not lose any money but because i paid for it i would have my my entire chart will shift down so this chart will shift here because i paid a premium so because i paid a premium i lost some money so i'm already here because this is the premium i paid and now if the stock goes up i'm gonna make money 
however if stocks will not go up i'll end up uh, with the premium i paid as a loss so this is how the chart will look like for a put option so if i am uh, buying a put option uh, if i'm selling a put option then in this case uh if the stock goes up i will have a profit because i bought a premium for it but if the stock goes down then i'm limit i'm exposed to all the uh downward side if the stock goes way below then I'm, i will have to tolerate all the pro, uh, all the losses so in that case uh, i'm exposed so this is mike and this is mary so now again uh, the premium for the put option will depend upon both the strike price and the expiry date so if the strike price is uh, uh, $700 then it's more likely to go below $700 so in that case the premium will be maybe you can say $5 but if the strike price is 650 so i'm 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 willing to buy at 650 in that case the premium will go to maybe 50 cents because it's less likely for it to go there so this is i'm talking about one month but if i'm talking about 6 months in that case uh price can uh that is more likely for the stock to move farther distances so in that case it will be 50 dollars and the 651 will be 5 dollars so the price will be higher because it's more likely for the stock to move either up or down so the premium will depend both on the expiry date and the strike price so i hope this video help and i'll see you again in the next video thank you